What's up, guys? I'm Mike D'Antonio, founder and CEO of Stocked Up, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We had another crazy day in the market today, a ton of volatility, but this provided for some amazing opportunities, not only swing trading, but also day trading. So we had an amazing day in the market today. Uh, we really took advantage of all of this movement. Uh, SPCE had a killer day today, up almost 16%. We called this out right at market open for some calls. Uh, that worked out amazing. We're gonna be talking a lot more about SPCE later in the video. There is a ton of great information to go over with that stock. Uh, we're also gonna be going over some important news for the market for tomorrow. And then we're gonna be touching on our plays uh, for tomorrow. So uh, we do have a lot of great information to share with you guys in this video. A lot of great plays. A lot of the plays we called out yesterday worked out amazing like Walmart. So when Walmart initially ran up, uh, we said, hey, you know, we might see a little short-term pullback right here and then a reversal back up. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Walmart is looking really good, uh, especially for the long term right now. Uh, lo looks really great. So we're going to talk about that shortly. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see our daily stock market videos on your homepage every day. Tom and I really appreciate all of your guys' support uh, very much. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel through the form of liking the video, subscribing, and commenting. It helps grow the channel so much, and we're so grateful for you guys. So thank you, thank you for everyone who has been liking, commenting, and subscribing. So with that being said, Tom, what happened in the market today? Yeah, the biggest play in the market today was definitely SPCE or Virgin Galactic. It's an amazing space stock and we've been talking about it in a few videos now. I actually have 300 shares at 1687, not the largest position in the world, but it ended up being a great trade. Ended up popping this week. Um, I really like this trade overall. They have a ton of unusual options activity. Mike was looking at it earlier and there's a ton of articles out. Um, Yahoo Finance has one out right now that is titled... Um, Virgin Galactic option bulls think that SPCE is ready for liftoff. And that's a fantastic news to hear. Um, it says that so far there's over 295,000 calls have crossed the tape on this today, which is insane for a stock like SPCE. And we can see that in the past on a daily chart, SPCE has ran up before from about $12 all the way up to 42 within like about a couple months time. And that could easily happen here as well, but we do have to break some key levels first. Yeah, so SPCE was an amazing trade right from, the, right from the beginning of the day when we called it out in the Discord channel. There's a link in the description down below if you want to join. We called this out at Market Open today, but SPCE is one of those stocks, Tom, if you could go to a daily chart, that when it runs up, it likes to really run up, and it might run up for, you know, a week or two. Now we are in a crazy market right now uh, where we see stocks like Tesla, Amazon, Spotify, that when they start to move, they just keep going up and up and up, right? Now I'm not saying to, I'm not saying uh, SPCE is going to go to, you know, $25 by beginning of next week, but there is a lot of potential with SPCE right now to the upside. You can see right when it, um, well, actually, you could see right in the beginning and end of January, Tom, and even to be in the middle of uh, February, it really had some solid uptrends and it kept running up for weeks. Now, we might see a move kind of similar to this, but either way, we are breaking out a lot right now. We have a ton of options being traded on it in a bullish way. For example, today with SPCE, there was about 350,000 calls traded and only 61,000 puts traded. So that should give you an idea of what's going on with SPCE in options traders' minds, but also from a stock trader's mind, they have um, unusual volume on the stock. They're breaking out and, and they had pretty much um, not a straight run up throughout the day, but they had a nice run up little pullback and broke the highs at the end of the day. So looks very bullish. Um, you know, obviously be careful. Anything could happen. Um, you know, we might even see a move kind of like Walmart had, Tom, like how we had a huge green day up. 
two days ago, and then we saw a red day and then continuation up. So yeah, I could definitely see that with this one as well, especially with the uh, with the way the market has been lately. If we have a little bit of a red day tomorrow in the market, then you might see SPCE fall as well. Like like you said, um, a lot of these stocks are just correlated uh, with the market right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know. The, the moral of the story is, you know, be careful with the options you choose if you decide to play this. Like, you know, if you think SPCE is going to go up, I would not buy a weekly call option because what could happen is, let's say, let's say you buy like a weekly call option that expires next week, like next week, July 17th. And let's say SPCE falls tomorrow, but then rises next week. You can still lose on that call option because of the premium you paid for it. So uh, my best advice is, hey, if you think SPCE is going to go up and, and you want to take that bet, I would get a further out expiration, like maybe probably around the August 7th to the August 28th range. Um, pretty much by doing this, you are going to get in a lot safer of a trade and uh, you're still going to make money if the, if the, uh, if the um, stock does go in, in the direction you want. You can always do debit spreads too, but Keep that in mind. Just be careful. Don't, you know, over leverage or anything like that. It's a good setup, but at the end of the day, anything can happen. So um, now, Tom, what went on with um, with the new news today for the market? Yeah, there was a there was some new coronavirus news that ended up coming out, and the New York Times had a great article. And in, in the article, they said um, that the surge in the United States is um, being driven largely by states that move to reopen early which is um, kind of bad to hear because that might mean that a lot of more states will start pausing their reopening stages or just not reopen the same way that they were planning to. And Florida also set a new record for most deaths it has reported in a single day, which is a big number to hear. We've been hearing a lot of new cases in Florida, and it looks like a lot of those cases are starting to turn into deaths now, which is not good to hear at all. Um, you know, we were saying that um, a lot of these states were getting cases, but the deaths were, still weren't rising very much. And if a lot of these cases start turning over into deaths, then that's obviously going to be bad because you probably, um, you know, I don't want to talk about it like this, but if you get the virus, you're probably not going to die, you know, getting it right away. It'll, it'll probably take a few weeks before you finally, you know, pass, you know, if you have it. Um, <clears throat> and then they also said that they're um, under pressure from scientists globally. The WHO acknowledges that the virus can linger in, in the air indoors. So that means that they're pretty much acknowledging now that the air, um, it is an airborne virus, especially whenever you're inside and the air cannot move around. That's going to be a big factor. Um, they said that the TSA reveals that more than 1,000 of their workers have been infected, which is um, terrible because that's definitely going to hurt the air travel because TSA agents, if they're all um, you know getting infected, that's going to definitely hurt the airline industry as a lot of people will probably be scared or they will just stop uh, having flights again, once again. And then U.S. schools struggle to meet the cost of reopening. Um, a lot of people have been trying to um, push the reopening of schools lately, and this could really uh, really hinder the, the reopening stages of schools. And uh, the public seems like they've been pretty negative on schools reopening as well. And also, uh, with California having a lot more cases as well, um, we are entering into wildfire season once again, and that could also bring a new challenge to the state. And as we know, a lot of imports come into California. And if we start having a lot of wildfires and California faces financial trouble, that could definitely um, mean bad for the economy overall. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, obviously, um, you know, it's not good with the rising death count. Um, so obviously that's not a good sign. But on the positive side, uh, the death rate is, you know, I know we covered it in yesterday's video the overall death rate is lowering. So that's a good sign. So hopefully it continues like that. Um, but you, I know you're talking about airlines and you know, pull up a chart like uh, Delta, D-A-L. Uh, that was down about 5% today. American Airlines was down about 7% today. Uh, LUV down about 4% today. So airlines took a bit of a beating today and we are approaching earnings season. Um, so that can, that's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, I would not be surprised if we saw a little bit of a sell-off ahead of earnings season with these airlines. Yeah, I could definitely see that, especially, uh, you know, Buffett cut his, his position on these a while ago, you know, and, and the guy might be smart. We did see a little bit of a pullback here. That could have been some shorts covering as well. You never know 
um, whenever you see big pull bats like this. But the thing is, is that now the stock is all the way back down to $11 per share on American Airlines. And it looks like I've had some long-term technicals drawn out here and they've been bouncing off them pretty perfectly. And now they're heading uh, right down below them. And, you know, this could definitely make for a good uh, day trade tomorrow to the downside. Yep, for sure. And then we'll talk about Walmart right now. I know we already talked about this a little bit, but we really called this one spot on. So when it ran up the first day, uh, you know, said, watch out, maybe it might have a pullback, pullback, and then continued up. Um, so that was a good trade. And I would not be surprised if Walmart continued upwards for the next couple of weeks, honestly. They are really, um, their, their new subscription service type Amazon Prime type thing. Um, it's really going to benefit them for the long term. You know, this does not mean Walmart is going to hit $132 by the end of next week. It might, but honestly, with this play, it is a huge value stock. Walmart has had a lot of volatility in the past couple of days, but um, I'm honestly not expecting in like an insane rise off Walmart like we saw with Tesla or Spotify or even Amazon. You know, I do think we are going to have an uptrend, but I just don't think it is going to be to the magnitude like we saw with Tesla, Amazon, or Spotify, given the nature of uh, what type of stock Walmart is. Walmart's a value stock. They move slow and steady. Uh, Amazon is kind of one of those growth stocks, even Spotify, Tesla. These are all growth stocks that are, are known to be super volatile, while, Mar while Walmart is not like that. So yeah. Um, and then I also want to talk about TLT and the bond market. So Tom, uh, the bond, the 10 year bonds right now is slash ZN, if you could pull that up. So ZN, which is the 10 year bond, like I said, had a pretty big day today and so did TLT. Okay. Uh, pretty much when everyone buys bonds, TLT goes up. And what this typically means is when people buy bonds, it means they're selling out of stocks because they are scared for the market. You know, the market might fall down again. So they they put all their money into something that is safe, which is bonds. So pretty much uh, TLT is going up. That's telling me that a lot of investors are scared right now. And there's a decent chance of uh, like some bearish sentiment uh, with the market right now. So, you know, I would definitely keep your eyes on TLT. We've been talking about this since Monday or Tuesday, I think. Um, so we've been saying watch out for TLT to the upside. Um, if, if, I think there is a lot more potential with TLT, especially if the market does reverse here. And Tom, look at IWM, right? This thing is falling. This is the this is the uh, the Russell 2000, right? IWM's falling. You look at the Dow. The Dow is down 361 points today. You look at the S&P 500, uh, down about 0.6 percent today. And then guess what? You look at the Nasdaq, up just under one percent today. So literally all aspects of the market right now want to fall, but there's one thing that's stopping it. And that is the tech stocks in the NASDAQ. So look at S&P down, Russell 2000 down, the Dow is down, bonds are up, right? Every signal is pointing for the market to, to come down, right? But guess what? That tech sector is still very strong. The NASDAQ was up today. We have stocks like Amazon up over 3% today. We have Google up 1% today. We had um, Apple hit new highs today. We had Microsoft hit new highs today. Tesla had a decent day, but the tech, the tech sector is really holding the market up right now. As soon as that rolls over, I think we are in for at least, at least a short-term dip. And, and yeah, we definitely. A lot of these tech stocks have just ran so high that once you run this high, guys, you just have to see a pullback eventually. And we're not saying these things are all going to crash, but we're just saying that once these stocks do have a slight pullback, it's going to affect all these other stocks that have not recovered as much, even worse. Right, exactly. So, you know, we're not saying, Amp we're not saying that Apple's going to crash. We're not saying Microsoft's going to crash or Amazon or Tesla or anything like that or Google. But, it, you know, it's just kind of how the stock market works. You know, they, they are going to have some natural pullbacks. And once they do, that's going to kind of, I don't want to say open the floodgates, but Every other part of the market right now wants to fall. Russell 2000 down, S&P 500 down, the Dow is down, bonds are up, right? And guess what? The tech sector is the only thing uh, that's like kind of holding it up. So uh, keep your eye out for that. I am watching TLT to the upside. And this is not 
this is more of like a slow mover. So if you wanted to play this, I would definitely get some time with these options. So now with the momentum plays for tomorrow, and before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to our Discord member of the day. So today's member of the day is Damage Control, and I picked him because he, he demonstrates a great lesson that a lot of traders uh, need to, to uh, notice. So um, his, Tom, if you could uh, show his full post real quick, uh, Damage Control said, uh, went from an all-time low of down 40% to plus 10%. Back in the green feels good. So now, Tom, if you want to show his, his picture, I mean, damage control was down 40%, but now he's overall up 10%. You know, that's an amazing lesson. One, um, you know, anything in life, it's not just going to be all sunshine and rainbows and, and all green every day, you know, especially in the trading world. There's a, you know, some weeks you're going to lose money. Some, some days you're going to lose money. Um, you might even lose money in, in certain months, but overall, you know, never quit on anything. And, you know, you have to know that in trading, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You're definitely going to have some hard days. So keep that in mind and amazing shout out to damage control for not just quitting when he's down 40%, you know, um, he, he, you know, he, he's clearly doing very well right now and he's back in the green. So amazing job. And I, I definitely highly respect that. So Amazing job to that. You're not going to win every trade. You're not going to win every week. It's just a part of trading. So now with the momentum plays for tomorrow, the first one, as you guys all probably already know, SPCE. Yeah, watch for SPCE to break $20. And if they break $20 in pre-market, then just go ahead and watch for them to break $20.50. And then if they break that, watch for them to break $21. This is definitely going to be a big runner if they do run. So uh, definitely be aware of the pre-market gap ups. Absolutely. With the next stock, we have LYFT. And by the way, we are looking at SPCE in a bullish sense <clears throat> to the upside. Next stock, LYFT is to the downside. Yep. So with LYFT, go ahead and watch for them to go down below 29.50. Yep. So we're only looking to play this if it breaks the levels we list. Uh, the downside plays, we're waiting for the price to break below that. The upside plays, we're looking for the price to rise above that. Next play is AMD, again, to the upside. Yep, watch for AMD to rise above $58. All right, and then NVDA. Yep, NVIDIA, um, watch for them to break 423. All right, all right. And then the last but not least play, we have LMT to the downside. Yeah, Lockheed Martin, they really look like they're falling out on a daily chart, but watch for them to go ahead and fall below 339. Absolutely. So now with the unusual options activity for today, and guys, this is a crazy one, but we are looking at SPCE 20 strike calls that expire this, uh, no, next week, July 17th. We had a total of about $5.6 million put into these calls. Uh, like I said, guys, there's a lot of hype around SPCE right now. Don't, don't let that, you know, control you. And, and, you know, don't, you know, be careful to not over leverage, not over leverage yourself on this play. You know, there's a lot of great, factors going into SPCE right now that can definitely look like it's going to uptrend. However, you know, I would not be surprised if we did see a pullback kind of like what we saw on Walmart yesterday, you know, so uh, don't just buy into the hype. Yes, SPCE looks great to the upside, but you know, don't let your emotions control you and, and think that you have to like, um, you know, buy a ton of calls or anything on this play. You know, it looks good, but you know, just be careful. Yeah, because you really have to be careful of people with long-term positions going ahead and selling out of their positions whenever these stocks pop like 15% in one day like this. True, true. All right, so with uh, JW saying great videos as always, uh, what's your take on Walmart being bullish next week? So uh, overall, I, I think Tom and I pretty much agreed on this. Like um, pretty much it's going to be, we like it to the upside, but um, it'll probably be a little bit more of a slow mover. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, definitely. I, I don't, I don't think we're going to keep seeing like 7% days on it on the way up. I would expect more for like three to 5% um, maximum on it, but I do like the movement to the upside. Um, it looks like we're still having trouble breaking one like around um, 129, 130 levels. If we do go ahead and break that, then I would definitely be bearish on it for next week for sure. Absolutely. Or I mean bullish. Sorry about that. Bullish. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, with the next question we had, um, next question we have, uh, we have Richard saying, um, actually I'm not going back. Um, with the next comment, we have Michelle saying liked and just subscribed. Awesome info. So thank you so much for that comment, Michelle. Uh, with that being said, guys, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please consider doing that. Uh, with the next question, we have uh, Nick saying CRSP is a gene editing company, probably one of the future breakthroughs of the world. So I know we covered it a little bit in yesterday's video. They're doing great. And like I said, um, we don't really know too much about this company, but you know, based off of the, um, the overall, tr like the trend of it and the sector, I mean, it, it does look like a pretty good hold. Um, yeah, gene editing company is definitely interesting. This will definitely be on my long-term radar uh, from now on. Absolutely. We have Michelle saying, I look forward to your daily videos. Always so informative and always on point. What really sticks out to me about you guys is how you seem to really care about your peeps. I like your conservative, level-headed approach. Uh, thank you so much, Michelle. We really appreciate your comment and your awesome insight in the Discord. We have Matt saying, what do you think about Fastly? So F-S-L-Y. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, I know that we were talking about this a little while ago, and it looks like it's just another one of those Tesla plays that just keeps going up. It looks like they just cannot come down. Um, they're definitely a big runner lately. Looks like they had a nice little like triangle formation right here. Um, I really like this little formation they had, um, you know, for, for a few days right there. They ended up breaking above that. It looks very good right now for a momentum play tomorrow possibly as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with the next question, um, let's see. So we have Isaac saying, I got an NKLA call for $45, ends on uh, July 17th. So NKLA, um, they, it kind of looks like they're having like a dead cap bounce. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, I actually drew this nice, uh, nice technical on them. And it looks like um, they're kind of in a little wedge here. I'd really like to see them hit this and then start coming down. If they start coming down off of this trend line, I would definitely uh, pick up some puts on the way down until they, you know, come back around to $35. Um, I know he said he got a call, which might have done pretty well today. I don't know if he bought it today or if he bought it yesterday, but if he did buy it yesterday, it probably would have been a pretty good play. It looks like a pretty good play um, to the upside right now, as long as we can just go ahead and break that trend. Yeah, for sure. And guys, uh, if you don't know what a dead cap bounce is, pretty much it's like when a stock is falling so much and it bounces up real quick and then continues down. So that's the, it's like a pattern in trading. So when something's falling, bounces up a little bit and then continues down. So that's kind of what I'm seeing on NKLA. Uh, it's heavily influenced by like hype and news articles and things like that. Um, NKLA does have a lot of shady things going on right now. Like I know they're offering more shares and there's just a lot of shady things going on with them overall. Uh, in terms of a trading perspective, uh, we, I think we need to give it a couple more days to get a clear, like a more clear reading on it. So uh, Tom, with that being said, do you have any last minute stocks, options, or any insight for the market tomorrow? Yeah, really. I'm really watching bank stocks like BAC, um, WFC, and a lot of different stocks like this to go ahead and fall down. I really like these to the downside. It looks like they're really starting to break these levels. And whenever they do, that's whenever you can really see these stocks fall off. And like we were saying, it looks like the whole entire market looks like it wants to go down, but the tech sector is just keeping it up. So as soon as that tech sector falls, I think a lot of these other stocks get dragged down too. Absolutely. And earnings season is coming up too. So that could uh, definitely influence the like rundown, you could say. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please consider hitting that like button. It helps grow the YouTube channel so much and it only takes about 10 seconds to do that. Also, please consider commenting. It also helps grow the YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to trade the exact same options that Tom and I trade every single day, click the stocked up options alert link in the description down below. We had some nice trades with Apple this week, Microsoft, WFC, a lot of great trades overall, some day trades with NVIDIA and Square. Uh, it's been a great week, guys. Uh, feel free to check it out with the stocked up options alert link in the description down below. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching.